Welcome to our final exam review for the college algebra class. Let's start with the three examples, or actually four, where we're going to be simplifying uh, answers for the equations you see in front of you. So let's start for the number one. I'm looking at negative two times v minus two equals minus five v plus one. First, I will distribute negative two which means I will multiply negative 2 by v and then by negative 2. Negative 2 times v is negative 2 v. Negative 2 times negative 2 is plus 4 equals. And there is nothing to simplify on the right hand side. My next step is to collect all the unknowns, which means all the terms that involve v on the left hand side. And everything else move to the right hand side. That means I will move negative 5 v to the left. Every time you move, something across the equal sign you change the sign of that term or basically maybe you learn it as adding 5v so we'll have negative 2v plus 5v equals 1 was already on the right hand side but 4 should be moved to the right hand side that means i will have minus 4 minus 4 on the right minus 2v plus 5v is 3v 1 minus 4 is minus 3. Divide by 3, v is negative 1. Put it in the box. Divide it by 3. So that is a solution for the problem number 1. For the problem number 2, I'm looking at 7w plus 7 minus 2, and I will distribute carefully this minus 2 over here and multiply by negative 7w and then multiply by negative 2 equals 7 I will distribute and multiply by w and minus 1. The first two terms I will just keep them as it is. It's going to be 7w plus 7 minus and then in blue color distribution starts. Minus 2 times negative 7w is plus 14w because 2 times 7 is 14, minus minus gives you plus, and times w. Minus 2 times minus 2 gives you plus 4, equals 7 times w is 7w, seven, 7 times negative 1 is minus 7. Then the idea repeats. I will collect 7w, 14w, and 7w all in left hand side, and then Everything else move to the right hand side. Now you can skip the step and actually collect everything in your mind if you can. Or I also noticed that 7w and 7w are located on the other on the two sides of the equation. Then they can be cancelled out because 7w minus 7w is 0. So only 14w stays on the left hand side. And then minus 7, then this green 7 becomes minus 7. And then this purple 4 becomes minus 4. 14 W equals minus 7 minus 7 minus 14 and minus 4 that's minus 18. Divide by 14 W becomes minus 18 over 14. How can we simplify? Probably let's divide by 2. It becomes negative 9 over 7. And that's the answer. Put it in the box. Very nice. More two examples. For each equation, choose the statement that describes the solution. Is it no solution? Or there's a solution? Or maybe all real numbers are the solutions. Let me call it A and B. For A, I will distribute 3 by multiplying 3 by double, then by V, then by 2. 7 multiplied by V and by negative 1. 3 times v, 3v, plus 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2v equals 7 times v, 7v, 7 times negative 1 minus 7, plus 9. Again, let's collect all the terms with v's in the left hand side. 3v plus 2v were already on the left hand side. Minus 7v shows up, equals minus 7 plus 9 were already on the right hand side then minus 6 will be on the right 3 plus 2 is 5 5 minus 7 
is minus 2, minus 2v. Two minus 7 plus 9 is 2. 2 minus 6 is minus 4. V equals 2. Put it in the box and answer. V is 2, 1 unique solution. Maybe check mark is better. Check mark. B. For B, I will distribute 4, multiply by u and by 1. And over here, 3, multiply by u and by negative 1. 4 times u is 4u plus 4 times 1 is 4 minus 7 equals 3 times u is 3u minus 3 times 1 is 3 plus u. So again, this piece here was part of distribution. And this piece here was part of distribution. 4 u, let me do it in, uh, in my mind and then see if you can catch up. 4 u minus 3 u will be just 1 u equals, oh, actually I lost one more u, it's over here. So let's do it again. 4 u minus 3 u, that's just u. u minus u, that's 0 u. Maybe this is awkward to you, so I will actually move it carefully. 4u minus 3u minus u equals negative 3 was on the right hand side 4 becomes minus 4 negative 7 becomes positive 7 4u minus 4u that's 0 times u equals minus 3 minus 4 that's minus 7 minus 7 plus 7 that's 0 so now the question for you what kind of u will satisfy this equation. u times 0 is 0. Any kind of u will satisfy this equation. u can be square root of 2. Still correct. Square root of 2 times 0 is 0. u can be minus 0 0.793. Still correct. Maybe u is pi or a million. Still works out. That means any input for u will satisfy the equation. So the answer is the last one. All real numbers are solutions. Note. Do you know when the answer would be no solution over here in the orange? When this would happen? When the at the very end you will have nonsense. So for example, you still have 0 times u, but the right hand side is not u. For example, it was 7. Then it will be 0 equals 7. And you ask yourself, does this make sense? If the answer is nope, it doesn't make sense, then there is no solutions. So that's how you know. No solutions. No solutions. If the, at the very end, you just have some kind of nonsense. Or basically, um, not right equality. Because 0 does not equal 7. No matter what u is over there. So that's not too bad. We're going to keep going with the examples to prepare you for the final exam in my next videos. That means... Um, Stay focused, watch videos, pause yourself before I reveal my solution, do it yourself first, then run the video, compare with what you did and what I did, hopefully the answer is the same, you feel satisfied, I feel satisfied, and that's how you contribute to your practice for the final exam. See you in my next video.